the learners we shall take up the part 2 of your unit that is on industrial policies this is a part of your business environment course and uh, industrial policies we have been discussing in the previous part we discuss about the mixed economy liberalization etc and in this part we shall take up three learning objectives one is to outline the evolution of industrial policies in india to outline the industrial policy resolutions from 1948 to 1991 to explain the pieces of new industrial policy nep 1991 in the previous video also i told you that from the beginning of 1990s there have been certain changes in the industrial policies the way business are conducted in our country and we got independence in 1947 1948 the first industrial policy resolutions were made till 1991 a series of industrial policy resolutions were made and in order to understand the present day functioning of the industries we need to understand the historical context to that extent we should be clear about the evolution of industrial policies in our country because what we are experiencing today is not right, a turnout of some overnight right, measures it's all our accumulated effects of the different policies that our successive governments have taken over the last few decades so it's all started from 1948 when india got independence in 1947 before that we were under the british regime so when we were under the british regime the things were a bit different as we all know mahatma gandhi propounded right that swaraj right we need to be self sufficient and in order to do that we need to be right with our small cottage industries handloom industries handicraft hmm, all this with the advent of British rule in India, Indian industries faced threats. Earlier, our Indian exporters exported spices, textiles, right? We were doing lot many things. But when British came to India, our Indian industries started facing threats. Industrial revolution in England, right? Manchester, the textile industries, so they had enormous production that needs to be sold so where is to be sold they were in charge of the territories in charge of the colonies so india became a colony so those products which came out because of the industrial revolution in england and at the same time their trade policy that they will make all these things available at the same time they will not promote they will not create a congenial environment for the Indian industries, all this paved the industrialization in pre-independence era. But post-independence, India adopted the industrial policy resolutions on 6th April 1948. My dear learners, the way as we are living as on today, we are having lot many products which are made available by our industries. Think about the situation at the time of independence. British left us. We did not have many industries. So we need to adopt the industrial policy resolutions. So 1948, the first industrial policy resolutions were adopted. And because of this, the country was in a position to have various procedures, principles, rules, regulations, for controlling industrial enterprises. We discussed in part one of this video about the mixed economy, right? This got reflected in the industrial policies. So 1948 contemplated a mixed economy that there will be share of public sector as well as private sector. Both will coexist. 1948 exclusive government monopoly and unregulated private enterprises. Right, the private enterprises will have to be regulated and suppose railways, defense, etc. Government will have the right, majority say. 1956 is another set of industrial policy 
right, resolutions came out and that was mostly concerned about new classification of industries for state and private sectors by developing schedules, certain schedules were developed and certain of those schedules, certain items were reserved for small industries and certain items were reserved for foreign investment. So, this was a landmark thing in 1956 industrial policy resolutions. 1977, another development took place. So, development of small scale industrial sector, areas for large scale sector, for capital goods, high technology industries, etc. came in. 1980s, refer, reaffirming faith in MRTP and FERA, de-reserving items from SSI. So, in 1980, some major development took place in terms of right, the creating the pathways for liberalization, which started in early 1990s. So, during the tenure of Rajiv Gandhi government, right, the, the banks, the private sector banks came in, computerizations were highly uh, propounded uh, despite the hostility despite the protest by the bank unions. So these were some of the things which started taking place in 1980s. And then in 1991 to respond to the call of the liberalization on 24th July 1991 then by the Narasimha Rao government when our Dr. Mon Mohan Singh was the, was the finance minister the new industrial policy 1991 right, that came into being. So, abolition of industrial licensing, India was earlier known as license Raj. So, licensing, there were lots of ease. It was not that difficult. Earlier, suppose uh, Bajaj Super, Bajaj uh, Scooters, right, they will have to have a license of say, manufacturing 5,000 scooters only. Now that, if the market can absorb, they can manufacture 50,000 also, something of that sort. So, earlier the capacity was defined. Now that, it has to respond to the market forces. Policy regarding public sector list reduced to 8 from 17. So that is the descheduling. Foreign technology and investment and encouragement, that was another feature of 1991 industrial policy. Removal of manage, uh, mandatory convertible clause, banks had the right to convert loan amount into equity. Earlier they were not having that privilege. Market friendly and entrepreneur family, the economy beca becoming more and more of market friendly and, and uh, entrepreneur friendly and partial end of license permit measurement. earlier suppose the cement factory the tons will be specified this much tons only now that you can have your own size provided market can absorb it provided you can sell it so that is the spirit of liberalization that is the spirit of privatization that is the spirit of globalization which were the major features which were incorporated into the policy framework of 1991. Right? So thank you. We shall cover the remaining two learning objectives in part three of the video. Thank you.